Hello and welcome back to Curiosity Hive where we are looking at the IMO class 3 paper. So we have the best of 2012 IMO paper from set A and set B. We have already solved the logical and mathematical reasoning sections in the earlier videos. The video link to which is given in the video description box below. In this video, we are going to solve the everyday mathematics section. There are some really interesting questions here. So get ready with your pens and papers and try to solve each and every question. And with every question, there is something new to learn. So stick with me till the very end of the video. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Curiosity Hype. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started with the first question on your screen. Well, this is an interesting question. Now it says that Same saw some peacocks and lions in a zoo. He counted a total of 72 heads. Let's stop there. 72 heads means the sum of peacock and lion was equal to 72. And then he also counted 168 legs. Now peacock has two legs and lion has four legs. That means 2 times peacock plus 4 times lion is equal to 168. So we have these two equations here. Now I am going to show you two ways of solving it. Pick the one that you find easiest. Now when you have two equations which you need to solve, in my previous videos I had showed that when you have two equations you can just add them or subtract them to get rid of one out of the two unknowns and then it becomes easier to solve the equation. Now in this case there is p plus l equal to a number and 2p plus 4l equal to some other number. Now the way to eliminate unknown would be that if we have the same number as here. So here there is a 2p. The trick here is let's multiply 2 to all the parts of this equation making it 2p plus 2L is equal to 144. Now this equation and the other equation can be subtracted. So let's subtract these two equation and what we will find? Well, plus 2P minus 2P becomes 0. So you are left with 2L which is equal to 24. Now 2 times L is 24 so L is 12. So you get your lion as 12. Now let's go back to our equation of peacock plus lion is 72. We know lion is 12. So your peacock is equal to 60. And that's how you get your answer B which is 60. That shows the number of peacocks that were there in the zoo. Well the other way to solve this if you find this very heavy is here. So here we have our two equations which we understood by reading the question. Now all you need to do is replace it with the answers. Now option A has 12 so let's replace peacock with 12. Hence we'll get lion to be 60. Now let's replace these P and L values in this equation. So 2P is 24 and 4L is 4 times 60 which is 240 which is not equal to 168 when added together. So peacock is not 12 in number. Let's go to the next option which says that peacock is 60. So let's try to replace that. Now if peacock is 60, your lion will be 12 based on the question P plus L is 72. Now let's replace this P plus L in this equation. So 2 times P is 2 times 60 which is 120. 4 times L is 4 times 12 which is 48. And the sum of these two is equal to 168 is the right answer. So we can mark B to be our right answer in this way also. Let's go to our next question. Let's see how you solve this. Now here let's mark the timeline. What they say is that Isha can make paper plane in 2 minutes. She started making paper planes at 4.30 a.m. and took a break of 25 minutes at 6 p.m. That means 
From 4.30 to 6 p.m. she was making planes which is equal to 1 hour and 30 minutes for which she was making planes. Then she took a break of 25 minutes and she started making planes again at 6.25 and they are asking us what time did they finish. Now let's understand what is given and what is being asked. Now it is said that Isha can make a plane in 2 minutes. So one plane takes 2 minutes and she needs to make 100 planes. So one plane is 2 minutes. So 100 planes will take 100 times 2 which is 200 minutes. So 200 minutes is what she actually spent in making the 100 planes. And now let's convert the times that she's worked in minute form. Now the first section that is 4.30 to 6 which is 1 hour 30 minutes. So your 1 hour is 60 minutes plus the 30 minutes which is equal to 90 minutes. So she has used up 90 minutes in the first phase of her plane making. Hence what she is left with is 200 minus 90 that is 110 minutes. So this 100 minutes is the time range that she starts working from 6.25 p.m. onwards. Now the 110 minutes if we break it in terms of 60 would be 60 plus 50 minutes. 60 minutes is nothing but 1 hour. So we need to add 1 hour 50 minutes say 6.25 p.m. which will give us 8.15 p.m. So she finishes making the planes at 8.15 p.m. which is your right answer. That is option C. Let's go to the next question. Read carefully and mark your answer. So let's break this up and write down our steps. So here there are three tanks. P, Q which is, which is 50 liters more than P and R which is thrice as much as Q. Now thrice as much as Q that is three times the amount that is in Q which is 50 plus P which is equal to 150 plus 3P. Now, if we add all the three together, that is P plus 50 plus P, which is Q, plus 150 plus 3P, which is R, this is equal to 1065 liters, which you know by the statement that is made that the three tanks contain a total of 1065 liters. Now, let's solve this. So, we have 200 plus 5p, which is equal to 1065. Let's reduce 200. So, we are left with 5p as 865. So, p is equal to 865 divided by 5, which is 173 liters, which is your option C. So, this is a simple calculation. Hope you have got it right. Next question for you. Now, this is a good question for you to try on. Now, what they say is that Sahil's parents put as many money in rupees in piggy bank as his age in years. And we need to find till how long they keep putting money till the piggy bank reaches 55 rupees. So, let's make a table which puts his age, the money added to piggy bank and the total amount. So, when he is 1 year old, 1 rupee is added, the total amount in piggy bank is 1. When he is 2 years old, his parents add another 2 rupees to the piggy bank, so the total is 3. When he is 3 years, 3 rupees gets added to the existing amount which makes it 6. When he is 4 years, 4 rupees get added to the existing amount which make the total to 10. So on and so forth goes on. And then you finally reach when he is 9 years old, the total amount is 45. So when he is 10 years old, 10 rupees will be added to 45 which will make the total 55. So now you have reached to what they have asked that there are 55 total in piggy bank. So how old is he? He is 10 years old. So your answer is option D, 10. Next question. Now, mostly in everyday mathematics, there will be more of these kind of questions which are the replacement questions. 
Now they say there are 60 pupils in class which are made up of boys and girls, obviously. And then they have a statement that there are 8 more boys than girls in the class. That means B is equal to 8 plus G because 8 more, more is nothing but plus. So now let's write our simple equation which means boy plus girl is 60. We know what is boy so we replace boy with this equation. So we have 8 plus G plus G is 60. Now we have only one unknown which is G. So it becomes simple to solve. So 8 will go to the other side making 2G is equal to 60 minus 8 which is 52. So G is 26. So your right answer is option B, 26. Next question. Again, it's a timeline question. Read carefully and choose your right answer. Well, here the two important years are 2020 and 2003. So, they have said that Monica will be 25 years old on her birthday in 2020. How old was she on her birthday in 2003? So, we need to find her age in 2003. So, first we should find the difference between 2020 and 2003 and then subtract it from her current age. That is, we subtract 25 minus 17 to get her age in 2003, which will be 8 years. Next question, again a age 1. I'm sure now you'll get it very quickly. Here what they say is that Anjali is 9 years old today. But when she was 5 years old, her brother was born. So her brother was 0 years at that time. When Anjali was 5 years old, it was 4 years from today. So what is her brother's age now? So we just add 4 to 0 years. So her brother's age now is 4 years. So your right answer is option C, 4. Let's head to another interesting question and take your paper pens and solve it quickly. Now these kind of questions read carefully. Now Priya has a bottle with a capacity of 726 ml and she poured 9 such bottles of water into an empty tank. So these are simple step problems. Let me write the steps which will explain to you these questions clearly. So, water poured into tank is 9 times 726 ml, correct? Which is equal to 6534 ml. And then water that overflowed was 1534 ml. So, the capacity of water is nothing but the difference between these two numbers which will give us the answer to be 5000 ml. So, your answer is option C. I hope you have marked this correctly. Now let's head to the last and final question in this section. Well, let's solve this again in a stepped format. So Sachin hits 12 fours and 6 sixes and the total score that he makes is 103 runs. And they are asking us how much runs does he score by running between the wickets. So he has scored by hitting fours, by hitting sixes and by running between the wickets, total of which is 103. So this run scored by hitting 12 fours will be 12 times 4 which is 48 and runs hit by 6 sixes will be 6 times 6 which is 36. So the sum of the scores by hitting boundaries is 84 which is the sum of these two numbers. Now, he also has made runs by running between figures, which we don't know. But the total of all of these runs is 103. So, number of runs by running between wickets would be the total minus 84, which is the runs he scored by hitting boundaries, which will give you the answer to be 19. So, that is your right answer. I hope you have managed to get all the answers ticked correctly. Well, these are the questions you should look out for. And if you're able to tackle these questions, you have solved 90% of your paper correctly. So for your exams, all the best. 
Keep looking out for more videos on Curiosity Hive that will help you prepare for such examinations. Till we meet again, take care.